So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today we're talking about the bucket of lace for the new release perfume 2020. So without further ado, let's just move on. So hi ladies and gentlemen, so forgive me about my voice. I've been sick for a couple of days, so forgive me and bear with me if sometimes I'm coughing or sometimes I'm stopping about what I'm talking about, but let's just move on. So if beforehand of that, so if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you will be updated to my new upload video every week and also please Thumbs up, give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video and let's just jump on. So let's just move on for our first perfume which is the Elite Fort Boys 1920. Um, this is characterized by a sweet and spicy combination because of the honey tobacco. It was also say that it has a similarity in Serge Luten collections like Cherry that's what the critic says and that's what I when I research this type of perfume that uh, come out this year when you see this bottle um, This is with the cubic bottle and engrave it with the trademark of voice 1920 and crowned by the gold plated that reminds me the baccalaureate 54 which is good Also, I love the packaging. I love the box. It's pretty good um, the top notes of this perfume is a tobacco, honey, orris, sandalwood with the middle notes of rose, incense, hay, and a base of amber. That's why I'm not being surprised that it is a combination of sweets and spicy scents. So let's just move on for our second perfume which is the Elisa Le Perfume Essentia. Um, this perfume is collaborated with the, the, the perfumery Francis Cordian, one of everyone's favorite color red um name it the, he is a good perfumery persons that I've known if there's a one person that I love to meet that's him but anyway they will be coming out on February I'm not pretty sure when it comes um in February but I'm looking forward it I'm kind of excited to sniff it or smell it first and that's the time that I will decide it. this is a really good collaboration but this is a combination of orange blossom and patchouli aromas with a white cypre scent so when we said it's cypre it's a little bit tangy sharp smell so I will I'm um, expecting this is a kind of refreshing scent with alluring and seductive but at the same time, it's good smell, but elegant style or sophisticated type of perfume. As all we know, Elisa is more on sophistications and more on floral. But that's the first time that I heard that he's doing or must that he was doing this type of perfume and collaborated with the with Francis. That I will be expecting. This is a kind of refreshing. Same times is a sophisticated type of perfume. So they ha it will have available 30, 50, and 90 ml with their EDP. So I'm looking forward with this type of perfume. I will just move on with our third perfume. So for our third perfume, which is the Hugo Boss, you go now. For men. So I love Hugo Boss. The first perfume that I bought it for my husband is the Hugo Boss. I find it sexy. It's like a cologne combinations perfume that I love him to wear it because it's not that overpowered perfume for men. So Hugo Boss created this new fragrance as a limited edition of Hugo Boss. This is a sense is a symbol of free spirit young heart attitude they have a new Hugo ambassador that as I know it's perfect for representing this type of perfume which is Liam Payne and if you see this see this pictures of Liam Payne there and see this model that it's pretty cool with the white clean shirts on that real look it's like a free spirit man but it's a young spirit man that is, looks like a refreshing type of sense so i'm looking forward to see this and if one day i'll smell it 
this is one of my bucket of least our purchases so let's just move on for our fourth perfume which is Kenzo Kenzo released this type of perfume these two characterize perfume for men and women which is Kenzo Leu Kenzo Hyperwave um this is like and for women it's just Leu Kenzo Poor Home Hyperwave so let's just move on first for Kenzo Liu, Kenzo Hyperwave. This is like a duo fragrance for Kenzo collection that will be released by February 2020. This is a type of hyperwave based on a note of flowers, complemented by orange blossom and zesty grapefruits. I will be expecting that this is a refreshing type of um, zesty type of perfume, that ultra fresh. For, for for youth, as we know, Kenzo is more on focus on young generations, young people. And I think this is just exactly the right that it represents. But if you see the way they announce or they, they advertise the pictures that you will see down there, um, it shows that these men and women in the wave or the board, that they refreshing clothes blue black white and blue type of refreshing type of clothes that i'm looking forward to find it that part of my one of my bucket list that i'm looking forward so for our wild cancel um poor home hyperwave is a sense of seek accord for men that combine with citrus and moss it's described as a modern aquatic aromatic sense it's expected that this is a type of perfume because the way they represent the advertise on the billboard it's like it's like a sea cord itself and it's just like an aquatic refreshing young fun man this is how they represent it so that's the way it speaks itself so let's just move on for our next perfume which is the house of tom ford um tom ford is preparing to launch as a new perfume from his exclusive private blend collections and being inspired by his own rose garden and provocative american designer rose Prick. yes that's the name of the perfume and it become controversy not it come out yet but it's become controversy um that's what they say in the review that i have been reading that it has a questions why he put it this kind of name in the perfume itself with this pink bottle it's very nice and elegant but it will be coming out soon february ladies and gentlemen that hopefully it will be good because it sounds like it's focused more on rose but it enhanced with the patchouli that they added with this type of perfume that i'm looking forward to collect but I'm wondering about it because it become controversial and I want to smell it first but it is one of my bucket list that I wanted to have it with my collection so let's just move on with the one perfume and one of my favorite which is Jean Paul Gaultier when it comes out the successful launch of Jean Paul Le Bou and Jean Paul Le, um, Le, Le Bou and La Mer I love it both of them I already reviewed that here in my review in my YouTube and they become successful they become number one bestseller all over the world so Jean Paul Gaultier announced it again with a classic pin up and La Mer Aviator so this is came out from the original classic and La Mer so let's just move on for our first classic pinup, which is a limited editions classic pinup in La Mer. It's Aviator. It's based on the same DNA of the iconic classic and La Mer. But guys, this is a, like a minty freshness and woody virtuality. Talking about the classic pinup. So the classic pinup is just like feminine freshness, but the classic notes of amber like caramel vanilla like keys and a spice touch of linguistic ginger so the base of um classic pina is like a minty freshness and woody scent um combinations of freshness and woody scents for male and a classic notes of umber and caramel vanilla for women so i'm looking forward with this because i do love perfume 
of Libu and Lemel. I like both of them. I love this scents. I love this this freshness that will coming out that I wanted to add it more to my perfume. So I will, I don't have signature, but I wanted to have it. But if I will find that definitely. So let's just move on for my second one. So oh, ladies and gentlemen, if I wanted to invest with my money, this is one of the perfume that I wanted to invest this year. It's a Mason Christian Dior collections. Rouge Trafalgar. Oh, I like when I look at the descriptions of the perfume itself and I was looking at the battle. I already want it and I cannot wait it to have it. So, so this is a combination. Ladies, if you love berries, this is one of your needs. This is one of one of for you. This is a comp composition, sorry about the words. I'm really not feeling well. I'm sorry about that. This is a composition of red fruit berries. It has a juicy sensation of woody and musky. So they can characterize with these three types, woody, musky, and berries. I love berries. I have the berries like Le Imperatrice and my Vince Kamoto and I both love it. And this is the one type of perfume that I wanted to invest my money. As we all know, Christian Dior is the one of the top of the perfumery that I wanted to have it even though they are really pricey but it's worth by money in its collection. So let's just move on for our next perfume which is definitely sure that people will love this, especially young ladies out there. Mark Jacobs announced that they gonna come out with the collections which is the Marc Jacob Daisy Days collections. Ladies, mark your calendar. I'm definitely sure they're gonna be a sold out with these three types of perfume. As I seen it, it looks like it dazzling cool. It's just like a sun underneath the Daisy bottle. So let's just move on with these three different types of perfume that's in limited editions as the markets. Let's move on to the Daisy Mark Jacob Days Limited Edition that bursts into inviting of mandarin, marble, sparkle, and a creamy mask. Can you imagine putting that together? This is a zesty. I am expecting that this is a zesty, creamy mask that it's well elongated to your scent. That's what I wanted to see and that's what I'm looking forward for this type of perfume. So let's move on to our next that the second one of Marc Jacob limited edition is which is Daisy Marc Jacob EU So Fresh Face. But it's a luscious white peach, orchards blooming mingle, creating a sense of comforting and freshness. But yes, I love the smell of it's 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 like a freshing stuff, but the orchard mo blossom, I'm not pretty sure about it, but I'm looking forward for that sense and I'm looking forward for the perfume or for 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 the cologne itself the coming out that I will just try. Last but not the least is a Daisy Dream Marc Jacob Days. Um, this is a type of florally of silky, whispery and juicy long and berries, a dewy freshness that blend with clean moss and warm finish so i expecting this is perfect for winter because when you said warm finish it means it's better to have it in the winter as we all know a um, mass and warm perfume will be sticky to your body once it is very hot temperature but i'm looking forward for characterized collections of my jacob coming out or come out this coming year and I'm looking forward for all this bucket of lease collections that I have lease on my paper but this is a nice starting I would love to have all of this perfume but as we all know they are all expensive perfume is always expensive so that's why um, let's see what's going on but I have this bucket list that I have and looking forward to buy it and try it in front of you ladies and gentlemen so i hope you like this type of review and please don't forget to subscribe my channel ring the bell and do write comments down below and give me a thumbs up if you have any suggestions or questions please do write comment down below um the descriptions and i hope i see you soon have a great wonderful day and night bye guys